Okay, my name is David Moore, and I work for Virginia Cooperative Extension. Uh, I work out of the Middlesex County office, and today uh, what we're going to be doing is making a rain barrel. And rain barrels are, are used to conserve water. What they do is they capture runoff from your roof and stores it until you want to use it for um, watering your plants in the garden. Uh, possibly you could rinse something off with it uh, later on, but um, we need to conserve water uh, these days to be kind to the environment. Also, we, what it also does is, is uh, keep water from going down your downspout on your house and washing out uh, an area in your yard or running, running through your lawn and so forth. Um, you can capture after uh, an inch of rain, an inch rain event, you can capture almost 500 gallons of water off of, uh, of a, a modest roof, uh, about 40 by 20. So uh, what we're going to do today is, uh, is I'm going to have some help here and we're going we're gonna to put together a rain barrel. Um, the tops of these barrels have a hole right here and this is where your downspout goes in and the water goes into the barrel. Um, right under that we put a mesh screen in it. What this does is uh, of course it keeps trash out of it, pollen and leaves and so forth. Also keeps mosquitoes from from getting in standing water and breeding and we all know what kind of problem that can be. So what we're going to start off by doing is I'm going to put the barrel up on the table. We've already cut our hole in the bottom. This is where our spigot is going to go that we can let the water out of the barrel. We've got a nice round, uh, one, uh, pretty much a one inch hole. And what we're going to do now, with the help of my assistant, is we're going to put our, put our spigot or our faucet on the, right on the outside of the barrel. Now, what we need to do is get some sealant. You can get that at any, any hardware or home center. And we're going to put a little bit of that around this hole. We'll be fairly liberal, fairly liberal with it and we'll, we'll clean up our mess later. Okay. Now we have a we have a washer. We're going to put that on over top of this, and then we're going to screw this in. And the threads on the end of the spigot will catch right into the barrel. Hopefully. Can use your pliers to. Uh, to snug that up some. Now that's when I need my assistant, okay? I'm gonna turn this and I want I want you to do is if you can hold that, just put your hands on it right there and hold it. Put another washer on the inside. We'll put more caulking on this or more sealant on this. Alright. I'm gonna take the other washer put that on the back side of the spigot I've already put in. If I can reach it, I hope. It works well to have long arms. Then I'm going to tighten, put the washer, the lock, lock nut on it. Wow. Not, this is not as easy as the other one was. Okay. I've got it started. How's it going? You doing okay? Good. Okay. Now I'm going to take my, uh, you still got it? Take my pliers and snug that up. Okay. All right, now we're going to set it on the ground. Okay, ready? Another thing you can do, we don't have this one cut, 
is to cut an overflow hole in it and put put this walk on around here we would cut a hole here so that when this this barrel fills with water the overflow can go into another barrel and you could have a whole line of barrel dozens of them but we don't have that on there today I'm gonna need your help again we'll put our screen on the top and now hold the barrel let's push push down and we're gonna turn ready okay all right we've got that on there and you're ready you're ready to catch some water and do some gardening.